In this video, I'll be showing you how to change the prime faces theme. So, in this video, I'll be using the NetBeans as ID platform. Let's create a new project Java Web, web application. Let's give it a name. Let's say um, Prime Faces. my prime faces uh, theme let's get the default <laughs> java server faces um, I like to come on configuration and change this for JSF finish Sometimes it takes a little longer, depending on um, your speed, um, your computer. So I'm sorry. So let's wait. Okay, now we have our prime faces, my prime faces theme. Okay, first of all, we have to load the library for prime face. So what you have to do, if you do not have it in your on your computer yet. You have to go online on the PrimeFace website, um, primeface.org, click on download, and then latest and greatest version. So far, we have they uh, um, released the 3.2 version. So just download the file. I have it downloaded already, so I'm not gonna do it. So go back to NetThings. Library, right click, add jar folder. And in my case, I downloaded the Prime Faces library on my download folder. Downloads. There we go. Select it and then choose. Okay. All right. Go back to the prime face website and then click on development and theme gallery here you're gonna see our list of the available themes so far a little lower you can see the download option click on prime prime faces repository repository and then choose the theme you want to download let's see UI darkness okay the latest version is 104 same thing I have it downloaded already so I'm not gonna do it again but you can download it anywhere on your computer and go back to mappings and do the same thing you have to load the jar file to your projects library so I have all those themes downloaded to my computer already. So, Prime Faces. Okay, let's choose UI Darkness. So, select the jar file and click on Choose. So, now you have it here. Okay. Uh, I have a kind of previous project which I want to use as a form, you know, like example to be used in this kind of tutorial. And let me show you how it is. it looks. Let's let's run it. little slow my machine is kind of lazy today Let 
Let's go, buddy. Okay, this is kind of the default theme. Okay, I used on my project. It's just a little, uh, a simple form with three tabs, as you can see here. Uh, kind of gray and silver. So what we're gonna do now is to change this theme for some for the UI darkness theme. So what we're gonna do now is uh, after you download the prime faces and theme libraries here on the development theme gallery we just go into copy the first step we have done already is how to install it we're gonna go to the next step to step two select these lines copy go to your NetBeans project in this case my prime face Open the web XML file and paste those lines. And this line is where you're going to set the theme you want to use in your project. In this case, I will say that the theme I'm gonna use is UI Darkness. Let's save it. By the way, uh, do not forget to set the names the namespace for prime faces. Okay, so if you don't know it, if you don't know how to do it, uh, after you load the prime faces library on your project, you have to go on XML NS column P and set the namespace for prime face. So I have it done already, so we don't have to do it again. Let's test. Let's see how that form is gonna look like now. Voila, darkness, wow, bizarre. So, simple like that if you want you can download another um, theme let's go and do something else I wanna add another one just to make sure you guys understood everything and it's not gonna be hard for you and you don't have to replay the video all over again so what I did was I added a new um, theme library jar file LE frog. So I just need to go back to my web XML file and change the theme name for LE frog. Save and let's try again. Wow, there we go, in green. So that's all. Thank you for your attention and I hope you like my video.